<laughs> Mike, did you find the beef in your salad? No. Show us the beef. Hey everyone, Dave K here today on day four of our Disney Fantasy Cruise Line adventure for the Star Wars Day at Sea. So excited to see this one. Super excited for all of hold. Today is Tortola Day. Gonna show you a bit of Tortola from in here and step out onto Tortola for the first time ever. Not to mention Pirate Night tonight. Excited to see all the pirate activities, food, shows, and more. Let's do it. Getting us started with a look out the window, look at this. You can see some of the beautiful Tortola from here, yes. You've got some nice houses. Look at that sort of hill. We have seen this one in the past, but this is a totally different angle on it. Not to mention, we've got the Norwegian Epic right next to us, so very cool to see. That's a nicely designed ship as well, but really cool to see the island from this perspective as we're a little bit higher and further forward. We are definitely excited to check it out a little bit today. Let's do it. A quick look at Tortola. It is a little bit rainy today, but you can see a couple of ships out there. Looks like maybe some frigates or other transportation ones out there. Wide open ocean around us. A little bit of island on that side too. Really cool to see. Look out at the water here today. Really cool to see here. Tortola, look out at the water today. You can see it's definitely windy as well, but uh, we'll, we'll probably stick out here for a while. We'll see. We got out of there fast. Super windy as well as that rain. Just blowing sunglasses around and all kinds of stuff. But now we are inside and you can see a great view of the Norwegian Epic from here, as well as a bit of the ocean on that side. Very nice to see. Just gonna enjoy a nice quiet breakfast here and then we'll be on our way. And here are those breakfast plates. Looks delicious. Mike's got some smoked salmon there. Fantastic. And that little muffin thing, cranberry cherry muffin thing. Here's my blueberry muffin. And you can see I've got salsa on my eggs there. Different types of sausage as well. That mango hike, you know I love that one. Let's dig in. And of course, the tea, the water, the juices. Definitely looking forward to a nice, delicious breakfast here today. Time is flying by here today. It's almost 11 a.m. after we finished our breakfast here. Making our way now downstairs. See if maybe we can quickly change up, grab our GoPros, and be on the way and check out what it looks like outside of Tortola. Definitely excited to see that here today. And now catching those elevators, maybe grab some tea before our open house here at Vibe. Haven't spent enough time yet in Vibe, so we'll have to see. Maybe we can play some games. Still gotta play some Guitar Hero with Mike. I know Mike is gonna crush me in Guitar Hero this time. <laughs> Let's see. As much as I like stepping out there and being able to see it all, I feel like some of the best views that you get of Tortola are indeed from the ship. Well, look at us now up on deck 13. Amazing views of the water and of the island. Very, very cool to sit back, relax, and see it all. So we're sitting back on deck 13 now, grabbing a couple of chairs, just enjoying some ice cream or some tea, some water, being able to take the time, relax, and you know, enjoy some time between now and our next activities. But I really do like those relaxing moments on the cruise ship. They, they make up quite a bit of the sort of the magic that comes with cruising. Now making our way over to the yellow slide over on the Norwegian, just kidding. Still on the Disney ship here, making our way downstairs to Vibe. Excited to check out Vibe. And then later we'll check out those yellow and green slides. Still got to ride those in the future. Stepping into Vibe now because what cruise adventure would really be complete without playing some video games? Maybe beating Mike in some Guitar Hero. Yes. Making our way in now. Let's see how crowded it is when everybody's on shore. Looks like it's completely empty. Does look pretty empty in here. Not even a movie on the screen. Wow. Nice to be able to take the time and play a little bit of games. Guitar Hero wide open. I'm not sure what Mike did that he said he was doing. Gotta watch out for that. Awesome to see there's real guitars in here as well. I can get some guitar practice while Mike is playing some Guitar Hero. Very nice. Yep. Oh, by 2,000 points. They were caught up. He almost won. I beat him. So wow. what settings did you change? No, I did change no settings. <laughs> I changed no <laughs> settings. Uh, 
Was a close game at first, but I beat Mike three of the four games, so I will take it. Good games, good games. Jenga time here versus Mike. Gonna see who can keep the tower alive here. Let's do it. Good luck with that one right there. You see the, his one pig. That's what happens when you don't look. Oh man. Someone could be. Ooh, ooh, you, you saw it move up top. What? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. oh. <laughs> Mike wins. Watch out for Mike and Django. Ah, David and Guitar Hero. Nice to play some games and see some Mario Kart in action. And we'll see what the rest of the day holds. But definitely a fun place to hang out. If you're looking for a fun time, definitely. Open houses are worth checking out. Grabbed some snacks and some tea from that top deck and now making our way in to see Star Wars Attack of the Clones. Enjoy a nice relaxing afternoon here on board the ship. Just finished the Clone Wars here on the cruise. Definitely feeling that Star Wars mood. Now making our way to grab some more tea, maybe some snacks. Haven't really eaten too much yet. And maybe we'll play some chip it in golf down in the lobby later today. So many fun activities and so little time. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. So neither of us will be the chip it in champs today, but it's fun to be able to watch the rest of the game. Nice and quiet here in the lobby, enjoy a quiet, relaxing game of chip it in golf, just kind of enjoying the feel of it. Now heading back to the room to change for pirate night. Lots of photos to take, maybe some crafts to do as well. So much on the itinerary. Gotta grab that special dinner and see the show as well. And we've changed into our GoPros, but we're still wearing the same thing. But we're heading out now. We're gonna check out some of Tortola with the GoPro. It's gonna be a, a super exciting adventure. Let's see what it looks like out there. First time stepping foot in the British Virgin Islands, yes. First steps, all right. First steps onto Tortola. Arr, me hearties. You think we'll meet Captain Jack here, Mike? No, probably not. Oh, well, maybe then we'll just be Tortolan. All right, all right, here we go. Look at the water beneath the Disney fantasy. It looks extremely light and blue. Yeah, it's mostly very sort of shallow in this area, but love to see those mountains off in the distance. Some of these shops up ahead, so much to see. Let's see what we go for here. You can see sort of rocks breaking that water as well on both sides. Cool to be able to take the time, step out here and see a little bit of the island. Take a look in the front of the Disney Fantasy here. Beautiful to see those ships kind of docked out there. And look at kind of these breakers here. You can see these breakers and all those ships out there kind of naturally floating and sailing. Kind of reminds me of some parts of California in the Northern California, like that Tiburon area and that sort of thing. Really nice to be able to sit out and look at the water, see how it's kind of similar but different in its own way, that kind of island feel. This definitely has that natural sort of peninsula cove kind of feeling with some boats naturally sailing in the area. Definitely cool to see this section. This is probably gonna be one of my favorite parts because I love the beach, I love the water. So nice to see this part right here. Awesome to see those mountains up there, but that would be quite a hike. So can't quite make those here. Just kind of walking through this area, checking out some of these shops here. And behind us, we have some sort of shops in that little cove we just came out of as well. A lot more crowded in there, but once you make it through that cove, I like this sort of open street shopping area. All kinds of cool shops around us. You may recognize some. Like there's a Croc store right there, trademark Croc store. A lot of those watch companies we may have seen before. All kinds of other good stuff all around us. So nice to be able to sort of walk this outdoor strip of shopping and, and see what life is like in this, at least in this entry shop, shopping section of the British Virgin Islands in Tortola. A bit further inland here, you can see some boats rolling out there. Look at that, some sailing happening live in action. Even though it is a little bit rainy, so cool to see all those fun water activities still happening out here. I do like it out here. Nice, relaxing, sort of calm vibe. Lots of nice music being played. We did walk by a lot more of those shops. Kind of reached a uh, sort of end of that shopping street and want to see what else continues down the road here. But you can see those cars kind of driving up that hill up there in the distance. 
really, really nice look of this island. Just sort of all over the venue. Really, really cool to see all the activities that one might do if they were living or just visiting in the uh, Tortola, Tortola Island. Check out this hut here. Interesting to see kind of this parking structure. Again, kind of the end of the shopping section here as it moves into parking and where people are visiting with cars. I guess maybe people get take this way to get to some of these boats and transportation and look at some of these taxis really cool to see it's very interesting shape to some of them and if you look at uh, it does look like those wheels are on the uh, no they're on the right hand side that's funny but look uh, this vehicle has a steering wheel on the right side whereas the other vehicle up there has a steering wheel on the left side of the vehicle so maybe maybe both are legal here i'm not really sure but really really interesting to see again lots of transportation vehicles here for like different experiences, different tours and activities. You can see, again, lots of parking, lots of vehicles going through here as they're making their way up the hill to all the adventures that, that might hold upstairs. So really cool. We get to kind of take a behind the scenes look at it. it. Looks like parking lot is full here as well, but all kinds of different taxis and motorcycles. Cool to see. It's like a weird combination of United States vehicles and European vehicles. This guy here has a very American looking car with a wheel on the right side. Whereas again, this car looks more European to me, but the wheels on the left side. So really, really interesting to see the different setups here. That's a sort of cool covered vehicle as well to see. Check out this sort of natural park here. Again, kind of by that parking lot and that hut over here. Kind of a park where people are able to kind of play out in the grass. Really interesting to see. There's a lot of obviously human work that's been done, pavers and concrete, but this kind of natural grassy area has been left as well for playing and having fun. So that's cool to see too. Cool collection of shirts here in this gift shop. Look at the lizards, turtles, sailboats, palm trees, and more. All kinds of cool Tortolan merchandise around the shop. I like it. Closer to those ships again from a different angle though. Moved a little bit over to this right side here. You can still hear those alarms from the ships. Look at these rocks. Mike had observed these different rocks that are purple, orange, and blue. Must be some of their colors there. And they've got some trees growing in a few of them too. More parking up there. Again, love those islands up there, kind of the mountains, that kind of thing. But I'm not sure it's very walkable from where we are, just kind of the way Tortola is set up. So one of these days, maybe we'll get a chance to make a trip up there. But for now, just kind of enjoy it at the water level. It is really nice to see some beautiful views here just by the port entrance when you first step off the ship at Tortola. can definitely appreciate these views. And a bit closer of a look at this main walkway of shops here. You've got kind of sculptures and whole household items over there. you got some tables over here. Cool to see. And a couple of other little shops. Some trinkets and souvenirs in this shop ahead of us here. Scarves and that kind of thing. And you've got some different lotions, looks like, and maybe different colognes over there too. Cool to see. And again, connects right out to that viewing area. Look at some of these super cool sculptures on the right here. Lots of sea animals themed to the island, of course. And we another shop up here with some rock sculptures. Cool to see those rocks, turtles, that kind of thing. Even a Christmas tree still around. A little bit late in January, but that's cool. Nice to hear some of this music as you're entering the dock as well. Nice themed, you know, positive vibe. Just you're stepping on port. And look at this sign here. Come back soon on this side, or as the other side said, welcome or welcome back. Now making our way back between the Norwegian Epic and the Disney Fantasy as we step back on board for a fun-filled day on the ship. Back on the Fantasy, making our way up to maybe the open house. There's another kids club open house today at Vibe, one of our favorites, or maybe we'll do some hot tub time, or maybe we'll do both today. There's plenty of time to enjoy the ship. Let's do it. Now back on deck seven to switch back those cameras. You know, we got to change our entire dress code here just to get back into dry clothes. And... No, I'm, I'm good, actually. Just, just, just switch your cameras. So let's get to it. All right, now to make our way down to Pirate Night. Let's see what those pictures look like here tonight. Hey, Jay-Z, how are you? Oh, yes, how's it going? So glad to see you. I'm looking forward to learning your pirate jig. Yes, you, oh, you got it down already. There you go. Okay, now I'll be able to practice those moves. Thanks, yes, looking forward to it. Tonight, I'll be ready for, oh, okay, the sword move. Oh, okay, I got you, the, the joust there. I like it, very nice, sounds good. Thank you, see you soon. Thank you. Hi, Chip and Dale, how's it going? Thanks for being here. Are you all ready for the pirate night? I've been asking around for, oh, the food. You're ready for the food. What are you, what are you looking forward to most, Dale? He says he wants to take your food. He's gonna eat it. Oh, okay. I've been asking around. I want to know everybody's favorite pirate jig. What's your favorite pirate jig? Here we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Chip's got it down. Dale's still thinking on it. He's thinking on it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. 
Some real big, some real. Yep, getting ready for it. Oh! oh. oh. All right. I have, to, <laughs> I have to vote on this one. There you go. Okay. Bring on the. Uh, there you go. I like it. I have to get the voting polls together and see what people think. So we'll, we'll get back to you on it. Chipper, Chipper Dale is a good question. I like it. Hi, Mickey. How's it going? Thanks for being here. Yes. Greetings and salutations. Thanks for being here. Welcome to it. I saw some fancy footwork from Chip and Dale. I'm wondering what your favorite fancy footwork for Pirate Night is. Yes. Okay. Here we go. The one, two. Okay. The jig. I like it. Very nice. All right. Yeah. Nice job. Thank you. Beautiful. I'm going to have to learn that one too. Have fun. See you soon. All right. Hi, Donald. How are you? Yes. Thanks for being here. Welcome to it. I was just asking Mickey, but I'm pretty sure that you've got a better pirate jig, right? Yes. You're going to show me. I'm looking forward to it. There we go. Oh, -ho. all right. Yeah. Awesome. There you go. Number one duck. I like it. Yes. Perfect. Thank you. Enjoy. See you soon. Hi. Goofy. How are you? Yes. I'm loving it. Ready for pirate night. Yes. So excited. You are so ready. I like it. I want to see your goofiest sword play. I want to see your goofy sword skills. Yes. Oh, there you go. Ah, I like it. Very nice. Like you're cutting through that buffet line. Is that what that is? I like it. Oh, he's marching. I like it. I got to march like that too. Oh, okay. I got you. Sounds good. One, two, three. Marching. Okay. Here we go. I like it. Marching on our way to be pirate. How are you? Hi, I'm Slimerific. How are you? I'm awesome. Hey, tell me, are you a good pirate too? Uh, depends on the day. Oh, uh, so I got to keep my eye on you, right? Yeah, you got to watch out. Oh, okay. I'm <laughs> already asked the character, mo most of Mickey and our other friends, uh -huh. but I wanted to know from you, do you have a magical, super fantastic pirate jig? Pirate jig? Hmm, well I'm not really a dancing fairy. Okay. I tried out a bunch of different fairy talents and I think I'm gonna stick with tinkering. Okay, sounds good, <laughs> sounds good. I'll take it. And how's it going? I'm Miss Wonderful, how are you? I'm doing fantastic. Have you on any fun adventures yet today? Uh, a bunch of fun adventures, yeah, no. all over the place. One adventure I'm still waiting to do, I'm wondering if your insight's on. I'm right. trying to figure out how I can fly. How you fly? Well, you need to have some pixie dust. We'll have to okay. find Tink for that. We're okay. playing a game of fly and go seek right now. Oh. You have to be on the lookout for it. But you need pix faith, trust, pixie dust. And you need to think of a wonderful thought. My happy thoughts are always ice cream because there's lots of sugar and gives me lots of energy. But the last time I had sugar, I hit that thing. Oh. And they got really mad at me. They said I can't have it anymore. Though. Gotcha. Good mm -hmm. to know. I'll, I'll be on the lookout for it. Got some fantastic photos down there with Peter Pan and all the other friends. And now, enjoying the view from up here on deck five. All kinds of sights to be seen. Chandelier, more photos being taken. It's a great time. All right, now time to lounge out while we're waiting for Aladdin, waiting for the rest of Pirate Night, waiting for some food. There's so much more going on tonight, but a nice little break, rest for the feet while we are between some of those photos. Awesome photos all around and some awesome music being played over there. We're gonna grab some more quick tea and water and then make our way to Aladdin tonight. I'm ready for it. A last look at Tortola before we sail away here. Just about that time, 5.45, we'll be on the move here shortly, but it's nice to take a last look at it. And excited to see that Aladdin show tonight. Always love those shows, but nice to take some final looks here as we're grabbing our tea, our water, that kind of thing. And let's get rolling. Heading from those photos off to the show. Excited to see some Aladdin here today. Also, grabbing that tea, elevator stopped on almost every floor, and we got to hear what the beeping of the elevator overloaded sounded like. So it does warn you if there's too many people on that one. Nice little feature on there. Also, the headband was a little bit hot. I feel like it was a little bit tight. So taking a break on that one, especially while we see Aladdin, we'll let you know. You know this is a great show, so definitely looking forward to seeing it here tonight. A great show as always. A few technical difficulties maybe because of all the waves and that sort of thing. You'd imagine the sort of winds might have caused some uh, challenges there. But back in the merch shop, Mike's got his eyes on some Star Wars merchandise here. Let's take a look. Mike's got a shirt here he's modeling for us. A little Star Wars logo in the upper right. And look at that huge sort of Mickey-shaped Disney Cruise Line Star Wars Day at Sea on the back. Very cool. And we got a couple of other nice Star Wars ones here. With the t-shirt, you got that sweatshirt. We already looked at that black polo too. So many choices. We'll have to see what looks good here. I don't know. Do we need some Star Wars merchandise though? 
you can never have enough photos, again, back to that line, on the Disney Cruise here. So we're getting some more photos by the staircase in our pirate shirts. I think I misplaced that headband that I had maybe in the theater. It was giving me a bit of a headache earlier, so I took it off. And I think I might have left it somewhere. But at the same time, I'm just kind of more comfortable with just the shirt. So I think I'm good for this. I'm going to keep running with this. But I'm going to get some pictures here before dinner and pirate night. Cool to see a bit of that pirate party going on over there with the kids dancing and that kind of thing. But just so much more quiet and peaceful over in the adult section. I mean, you gotta enjoy a nice, quiet, relaxing time. And there's like nobody out here while we are waiting to start our dinner. So nice to be able to take the time, relax, enjoy some drinks, and just kinda cool down while we're waiting for a delicious meal coming right up. And then the rest of the pirate festivities shall begin. And take a look at this sort of night view here by the adult area. You can see right now nobody here, but nice lighting of the purple and the blue on that top deck. The pool nicely lit up here as well. A little bit of a foot in that bottom of that frame there. All right. Nice to see the kind of the darker lit areas here in that adult only cove at night. I like it. Definitely a nice feel. Again, relaxing, taking the time right before dinner, and we'll be on our way here in a minute. Are you ready for a piratey dinner, Mike? I am, Arg. Okay. <laughs> That's a yes. Sounds good. That, that was a yes, by the way. All right. For those who are wondering. Okay. Sounds good. Oh my gosh, the moment of realization that since we're on a Star Wars cruise, there is no pirate night menu. Well, I guess we'll try the Star Wars menu when we get there. But this menu is very familiar with that oxtail soup, the onion soup. We'll see what we like on this one. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking about the Ahi Tuna Tower here. So it was quite a shock to hear that the Pirate Night menu was not a thing, but that's because they have a Star Wars menu for Star Wars Night. So there's a buffet on that one as well as a special menu for Star Wars Night. So good to know, no Pirate menu with those special themed cruises. So we're getting a couple of different items. Fettuccine I'm getting as well as that lemon fennel salad. And Mike is getting, I believe, was it the onion soup? As well as one of the other items, maybe venison, mm, venison medallions. So we'll see how they all taste here. Definitely excited to share all the new stuff with you. So Mike is not getting the onion soup, but the beef salad. Beef salad for Mike. Let's see how all this goes. And another detail was if you pre-order, if you want something from a menu, from a different menu, if you pre-order it the night before, they can arrange it for you. So for example, we can't necessarily just get the Ahi Tuna Towers right now, but we can pre-order them for tomorrow night. So might end up doing that for a couple of us for tomorrow night. Definitely one of our favorites, but you do have to ask for that the night prior. So make sure you know that in case you're considering getting something that's not on the menu, let them know in advance. Here is Mike's fried eggplant. We did get a recommendation. That one was supposed to be pretty good, so we'll see how that one tastes. Definitely has a unique sort of look to it. Look at those different angles on that one. Nice. And I've got the lemon fennel salad, which I'm surprised to see seems to have no vegetables whatsoever. In fact, it looks like more of a salmon salad, which definitely works for me, but I'm curious to see what it'll be all about once we get inside and taste it a little bit. Let's see how this thing goes. A couple of unexpected results here today. Interesting, Mike's fried eggplant tasted a lot like kind of a pizza with the tomato sauce and the cheese, except it did have a strong eggplant flavor too. I didn't hate it, and if you are trying to get into eggplant, it might be a good place to go, but you do have to kind of like eggplant to really, really like that one. This lemon fennel salad was pretty good, but I'm not sure what a lot of the other stuff was besides the salmon. I did like that smoked salmon there. Fantastic. Just kind of ate all that off. The rest of that stuff, whatever the lemon fennel -y part was, not my absolute favorite. I, I like them both. I would eat them both, but not my number one item. Definitely going to keep trying new things in the future. And here is Mike's beef salad. Tomatoes, definitely visible in there. See a lot of lettuce. Where's the beef? Where's the beef? Definitely looking forward to hearing how this one goes for Mike and finding out if there is indeed beef in that uh, in that beef salad. <laughs> so it might have been a misread on the menu there. Might have been a beef salad. Sounds like it's pretty decent, but uh, it's no beef salad. So maybe just some beets in there. That's pretty funny though. Expect <laughs> expecting beef and you get beef. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, that's a good one. That's a classic. That's like the classic cookie, chocolate chip cookie. And it's actually oatmeal raisin trick. You know, they just put a little, put a little line through that beet to make it look like a beef salad. So Mike would misread that one. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. Uh, Mike, what do you think of that B something salad? Fine, it's good. I like it. It needs beef. It needs beef. Less beets. Mike, did you find the beef in your salad? No. Show us the beef. Show us the beef. So Mike and I have discovered that this is a beef steak tomato. So there's your beef in the salad right there. Good to know. You know, you learn as you go. This is a beef steak tomato because nice and juicy. But uh, but that's the beef. Surprisingly though, actually is really good beef steak tomato. Probably one of my favorite types of tomatoes right there. So it's a great salad. It's just missing the beef. And for our entree, we have a beef steak. I, I, I mean, uh, we got a uh, fettuccine pasta chicken there. It looks super good. Parmesan chicken for fettuccine. And Mike has the, I don't even really remember. Venison, venison medallions right there. Venison medallions do look super good with some sort of fried object there on the side as well. So you can see. That venison over there, a lot of good chunk of meat on there. Looking forward to seeing how they both taste. So after reviewing these, I hate to say I've already had the fettuccine. I didn't realize that in the past until I'd order it and got it in front of me. But I don't, really didn't love either of these dishes. The venison's got a very unique flavor to it, as do those fried things that come with it. It's got a great consistency to it, but don't love the flavor on that one. And then for this fettuccine with chicken, the pasta's great. Chicken itself, again, don't really love the flavors. Like kind of clovey more so than Parmigiani. Still kind of strange flavors there, but I, I would keep looking on this menu and try something else, and hopefully we'll come across something we love. That pumpkin curry, I think, is still number one so far on the menu, so there's that. And Mike has already begun the mixing process here for the curry. Mike went ahead and got the curry. Waiter brought that over to him just because he saw Mike did not eat that much of the last dish, which was really nice. And looking forward to getting back in that one again. My number one recommendation so far on this particular menu at Royal Court. At, at least as far as I can think of, as far as I can remember, this is the one so far. We'll have to keep trying to try this stuff, but uh, I do love this curry here if you're looking for a good vegetarian option. Such an amazing flavor to that curry. It's like a great, unbelievable dish. Again, continuing with that statement of best one that we've had so far here. Again, amazing flavor to it. Would love to see, I mean, I'm not vegetarian, would love to see some meat in that one, make it a regular dish. As a vegetarian a dish, amazing. And I would order that here as a standalone against some of those meat items. So just something to keep in mind. Definitely love it. Check out this dessert menu here, a variety of options. Apricot trio, creme brulee. I'm thinking about that chocolate cheesecake myself, that no sugar added item. Really cool to see that one. And here's the front of the menu with a cruise ship. Very nice feel here on Pirate Night. It's a less piratey feel at dinner since we're saving up for our theming for that Star Wars night. All right. Here we go. Doing the dessert loop. You got that raspberry vanilla creme brulee right there. Thank you, Michael. Thank you very much. Let's see how it tastes. With the, the madeleines on there. Love those madeleines. And check out this apricot trio with the vanilla cheesecake and the apricot three things all over the top apricot, the side apricot, and the bottom apricot. Oh, trio of apricot. And of course, last but certainly not least, is our very own no sugar added dessert, the chocolate cheesecake. And I'm ready to get blown away, as usual, by the no sugar added item. Yes, show me amazing. Show me amazing. Here it goes. All right. Reviewing our dessert items here, the chocolate cheesecake was the worst no sugar item added no sugar added item we've had thus far this trip. Wasn't terrible, wasn't that bad, but if you were looking for a no sugar added item, I'd pick any of the other nights to go ahead and do that. And these other two desserts really weren't great either. Just tasted like a very typical cheesecake there. And that creme brulee was maybe the best of the three because the pieces of raspberry in it, but I'd skip all three in the future. Mike and I both agree, stick with that lava cake here if you're looking for a real good dessert. With dinner complete, we make our way to see the fireworks for Pirate Night, still a stage show. We'll see here tonight as well. Let's see what that's all about. No buffet, sadly, tonight, even though we're walking through Cabanas. But in the future, I'm sure we'll get to enjoy that pirate buffet. I'm excited for that Star Wars buffet, though, as well. We'll see how that one goes. Five minutes time. We're gonna get started with our Buccaneer Blast Pirate Celebration. If you're ready, I need a very big R. Well, you come to the proper place. Ship on the rough people. Come along, come on. Come to me, keep the old talk. 
Love to see that show with the fireworks, but you can see quite a party going on here on deck as we're trying to make our way out for that DJ, pirate DJ, kind of club pirate thing going on here. Making our way out, but absolutely love that show. Glad to sort of see the flashing lights and the party going on out here, but definitely quite a crowd as we make our way out as well. Awesome to see that pirate night show. Honestly, I like this one a lot. There were a couple things that I didn't quite remember in terms of details. I did envision it being that Mickey one, but this show with the Jack Sparrow, which I do remember a little bit of as well, I guess maybe I thought they were combined, this one was a lot shorter, which I actually kind of liked because it is a late night, you know, I'm, I'm wanting to get ready for bed early and that kind of thing. So for it to only be a brief, brief show was pretty nice. And then those fireworks were nice and long too. I thought it was a nice long fireworks showing lots of fireworks coming off the front and the back of the ship was beautiful. It was a good like three minute display of fireworks and the show in total was about 20 minutes, I want to say about 20 minutes. That was nice, about 17 minute other show there. So overall, I thought it was a lot of fun one. I do love that Mickey one where they kind of sing and dance and talk about Smee and do that battle with like pirate knowledge. But overall, I thought it was a great one. Mike, what'd you think? I really liked this one too. I think the fireworks was the best part by far. You know, the sing along was great too. Always gets you in the mood, but those fireworks are a lot of fun, especially on the top deck, like over that side. See them all around you. And of course, I missed that pirate buffet not being around, but did enjoy it a lot. And I'm super excited to see what that Star Wars buffet is all about coming in a couple nights. There's so much more to look forward to in the next few days here. I'm already thinking about tomorrow, all of those activities we're going to enjoy. And then the following day, Star Wars day, Super exciting. Castaway Key coming up as well. So, so much more to look forward to. Thanks for being a part of the adventures with us today. If you liked today's adventure, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Let me know you liked it. And comment below. Let me know your favorite part and about that Chip and Dale dancing. Again, I want to know who you thought was better. Was it Chip or was it Dale? If you haven't already, for more fun adventures, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay informed. And until next time, have a magical day. And play on. We'll see you soon. Uh